फाइव आर्स टू सेव द एनवायरमेंट वी ऑप्टेन वेरियस थिंग्स फ्रॉम द एनवायरमेंट फॉर आर डेवलपमेंट ऑल द थिंग्स वी नीड फ्रॉम द एनवायरमेंट आर कॉल्ड नेचुरल रिसोर्सेस एयर फॉरेस्ट सन एनर्जी वॉटर कोल पेट्रोलियम एक्सेट्रा आर नेचुरल रिसोर्सेस रिसोर्सेस लाइक फॉरेस्ट वॉटर कोल पेट्रोलियम कैन नॉट बी यूज अगेन वंस दे आर यूज देर फोर दीज रिसोर्सेस आर लिमिटेड मूविंग रैपिडली इन द डिरेक्शन ऑफ डेवलपमेंट we are exploiting these natural resources extensively this is causing great harm to our environment you must have seen or read about air pollution water pollution soil pollution and their impact on the environment many natural resources are limited in addition to this due to rapid exploitation these resources are decreasing rapidly if the speed of their exploitation is not controlled then these resources will not be available for our future generations so we must use these resources in a controlled manner so that they are available for the next generation distribute the resources equally among all classes ensure that the environment is not harmed during use of resources dispose the waste materials in a proper way the concept of sustainable development encourages the development and fulfillment of the present needs of human beings as well as it ensures that resources are conserved so that they are available for future generations all of us should follow the 5 r's to ensure sustainable development and to save the environment let's learn them refuse while buying things we should refuse to take all those things which can harm a family and environment for example we can refuse to take plastic bags instead we can use cloth or jute bags many times when we see a good deal we purchase things which are rarely useful to us we can avoid buying such items we can also deny excessive packaging similarly we should also refuse to take items like plastic cups which cannot be used again reduce we should reduce the use of resources for example we can turn off the appliances running on electricity when not in use you can take a walk to go to nearby places instead of using a car if you want to go far you can use a public transport this will save petroleum do you know about 17 trees are cut to produce 1 ton of paper we can reduce the use of paper so trees can be saved similarly we should make food according to the need so that it cannot be wasted can you tell me in which cases we can reduce the use of water discuss this with your friends reuse we must use things again and again for example a jute bag can be used repeatedly to carry things instead of throwing a juice bottle we can use it to store water plastic containers can be used to keep things in the kitchen you can also use boxes used in packaging to store things those clothes 
which do not fit us can be given to the needy. Repurpose Sometimes, things that are purchased for a purpose no longer remains useful for the purpose. For example, a broken pot. Such items can be used for any other useful work. For example, a tree can be planted in a broken pot. Broken bucket can be used as a dustbin. Broken bangles can be used to make decorative items. Recycling Items like plastic, paper, metal can be used to make new things again. This is what we call recycling. Many items that can be recycled are sometimes thrown away as garbage. We should separate such items from the waste produced in the house. Various people in the village and city collect such items from us and give them to the chemical companies where they are recycled. It is a matter of fact that energy is required for the method of recycling. So, whenever possible, we should focus on reuse. Now, remember your daily activities and think, how can you use 5 hours? So today we have learned 5 hours to save the environment. Forest and Wildlife Forests are vast areas on which different species and different forms of plants and animals are found. Variety of animals and plants found in an area is called biodiversity of that area. Forest and wildlife are important resources for us and the environment. They also maintain balance in the environment. Many things are available to us from forest. In order to fulfill our need, we are exploiting the forest excessively, causing heavy loss to the forest and wildlife. This is also destroying the biodiversity of the forest areas. To protect various species, it is necessary to protect forest. Therefore, forests have been considered as a hotspot of biodiversity. Our activities are causing huge loss to forest resource. Due to deforestation, there are many problems like the amount of carbon dioxide in the environment is not controlled due to which the temperature of the earth has started to rise. We call this problem global warming. Trees hold the soil. Due to absence of trees, the fertile layer gets washed away with rainwater and blows away with the wind. This is what we call soil erosion. Due to excessive cutting of trees, green lands are converted into deserts. Due to the absence of trees, rainwater flows away causing problems like flood. Due to lack of trees, water cannot enter into the ground due to which groundwater is not replenished. Similarly, due to lack of trees, the environment changes and the habitat of organisms is also damaged due to which there is huge loss to the forest and wildlife. Let us now discuss the conservation of forest. For this, it is important to identify the persons Related to forest, we can call them stakeholder. The main stakeholders of forest are as follows. Local people obtain different things from the forest. Therefore, they conserve forest. Even before the arrival of British, people used to live in forest 
Did it harm the forest? No, they had developed such methods that could lead to sustainable development. The local people still continue the tradition of conservation of forest. The British overexploited the forest. When the control of forest went to the forest department of the government, the forest areas were destroyed and the same type of trees were planted on it. This gave industrialists the source of raw materials and revenue to the forest department. But the biodiversity was destroyed on a large scale. Due to this, various species are extinct or are on the verge of extinction. We should fulfill the industrial needs by planting trees on the barren lands and not by cutting forest. Nature and wildlife enthusiasts are not dependent on forest but they contribute significantly to the management of forest. They tell the importance of forest to the society and convey the message of synergy. They also prevent unthinkingly exploitation of resources. Local residents are trying to conserve forests as per their tradition. Let's see some examples related to this. In 1731, Amrita Devi Vishnoi, along with 363 people from the village, sacrificed themselves to save Khejri trees in the village of Khejrali. Located in Jodhpur, Rajasthan, the Government of India has arranged Amrita Devi Vishnoi National Award for Conservation of Animals. In early 1970s, a significant incident occurred in the rainy village of Garhwal, located in high mountain range of Himalayas. A contractor was allowed to cut down trees near the village. In protest against the cutting of trees, the women of village filled their trees in arms and prevented the contractor from cutting the trees. The contractor eventually had to withdraw. Sustainable development of forest resource can be done. For example, in West Bengal, Sal forest was badly damaged due to excessive exploitation. Officer A.K. Banerjee started a strategy in the Arabadi area of Midnapur under his local people, under which local people were involved in the work of conservation of forest. This provided employment to rural people. They also got the right to use 25% of the final harvest and were allowed to take wood for fuel and feed cattle. With the consent and active participation of local people, the Salvana of Arabri, which was considered useless, became prosperous again. The value of this forest has been estimated at 12.5 crores. We should also conserve wildlife. For this, we should fairly follow the ban on animal hunting. Animals and their habitat have been preserved with the help of national parks and wildlife sanctuaries. Discuss in your class about how you can help in conservation of wildlife and forest. So today we have learned forest and wildlife. Today we will learn water conservation. In the previous video, we discussed the conservation of forest resources. Like forest, water is also an important resource for us. Let us discuss the reason why we need to conserve water resources. In our country, rainfall mainly depends on the monsoon. So, the duration of rainfall is limited to a few months. 
Due to deforestation, there are changes in the system of rainfall. Because of absence of trees, rainwater cannot go into the ground. It drains and merges into the sea. Water is excessively exploited in industries and farming. Similarly, water pollution is also increasing due to various reasons. Due to many such reasons, the amount of available water has decreased. Absence of water is also closely related to poverty. Therefore, we need to conserve water resources. Since ancient times, water has been conserved by the local people by making dams, tanks and canals. These reservoirs were managed by the local people so that water should be available throughout the year. With the help of the experience of centuries, proper cropping patterns were adopted by looking at the availability of water. Large projects such as large dams and long canals were constructed by the government with which the importance of these local methods of water conservation diminished. With the management and administration of these local methods by the government, the local people lost control over them. Dams are important projects for water conservation. Let us talk about some important things related to them. There are many benefits of building a large dam, such as sufficient amount of water can be stored in them. Water can be carried away with the help of canals and can be used for irrigation. For example, with the help of Indira Gandhi Canal, water has been transported to many places in Rajasthan. After proper processing of water, it is transported to the cities with the help of pipelines. An important use of dam water is also to generate electricity. There are some problems related to the dam. Let's know them. Social problems. For building dams, the large number of farmers and tribals are displaced. Promises made while displacing them are not fulfilled. With the help of canals, there is a system of transporting water at far locations, but there is no uniform distribution of water. Those who are near the dam use excessive amount of water, while the people located at far away places are deprived of water. Economic Problems For large projects, public funds are very high, but compared to this, there is less or no benefit. Environmental Problems Large-scale destruction of forest wealth results in loss of biodiversity. As an alternative to these problems, there are several other methods. We use various methods such as digging small pits, collecting water from the roofs of the house, making small soil dams, making water collectors made of sand and limestone, building lakes, setting up a simple water logging system. We can increase the groundwater level. There are also popular methods of water harvesting at various places like khadins, tanks and nadis in Rajasthan, bandharas and tals in Maharashtra, bundis in Madhya Pradesh and Uttar Pradesh, ahars and pines in Bihar, kuls in Himachal Pradesh, ponds in Kandi belts of Jammu and Iris that is tanks in Tamil Nadu, surangams in Kerala, and kattas methods are still in use in Karnataka. In this, with the help of man-made canals, water is brought to the village by changing the route of the river. By this, the water is supplied to the village. 
by giving control to these local structures to the local people proper management will be done and over exploitation can be reduced there are many benefits to increase the level of underground water as compared to water storage on the flat terrains for example a small amount of water can be collected in small pits and it can be stored for only few months whereas the amount of collection of water under the ground is not limited because it spreads to surrounding area and can be stored for a long time various problems such as water pollution mosquito breeding can happen in small pits of water while underground water is relatively safe you must find information about various methods of water conservation on the internet so today we have learned water conservation today we will learn about coal and petroleum resources coal and petroleum are important resources of energy for us in thermal power plants we produce electricity by using coal as fuel similarly various petroleum products like diesel and petrol are used as fuel for different modes of transport such as motor vehicles ships and aircrafts they are also used to manufacture many items such as paraffin wax grease etc these resources are formed as a result of burial and decomposition of organisms under the land or water millions of years ago therefore we call these as fossil fuels process of their formation is very slow therefore their quantities are also limited for our current requirements we are doing enormous exploitation of them due to which these fuels are decreasing at a rapid rate it has been estimated that if we continue to exploit them at the present pace coal will be available only for next 200 years and petroleum only for next 40 years eventually if we use them carefully it is sure that they will end in the future therefore we need to search for alternative sources of energy all those sources such as wind energy hydroelectricity solar energy etc which can be used in place of fossil fuels are called alternate sources in addition to carbon coal and petroleum also contain hydrogen nitrogen and sulfur when these fuels are used along with energy other substances such as carbon dioxide water nitrogen oxides sulfur oxides etc are also produced carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas that maintains heat on earth it is necessary for life due to excessive exploitation of fossil fuels the amount of carbon dioxide in environment is increasing drastically and so the heat is also increasing this has increased the average temperature of earth this is what we call global warming at the time of burning these fuels if the amount of oxygen is insufficient then it produces carbon monoxide gas which is a toxic gas similarly nitrogen and sulfur oxides are also toxic gases in the upper atmosphere when these gases are mixed with rain it causes acid rain you should search for the harmful effects on acid rain on the internet for all these reasons we must use coal and petroleum resources wisely we can reduce the consumption of fossil fuels by changing our activities 
like for traveling you can prefer to travel by walking by bicycle or by bus instead of using a personal vehicle similarly you can also do carpooling or ride sharing in which more than one person travels together and shares the total cost from time to time we should also pay attention to the efficiency of our vehicles so that the energy derived from fuel is not lost since electricity is generated with the help of coal we can limit the use of electricity in our homes electrical equipment should be kept off when not required similarly in place of halogen bulb we can use led bulb during winter you can use a sweater instead of using a heater we can also save electricity with the help of solar equipment this will also reduce the electricity bill by using man made fuels such as biogas biodiesel we can control the consumption of fossil fuels by planting more trees we can also help to control the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere you must cooperate in saving the environment and sustainable development by bringing changes in your activities so today we have learned about coal and petroleum resources Thank you.